Alabama voters will head to the polls for the primaries in just eight weeks. While there are several open seats on the ballot, there will also be a constitutional amendment dealing with the way local bills are considered by the legislature. A News 19 State Capitol reporter Maddie Beer Temple has what you need to know about Amendment 1. Amendment 1 would remove a procedural step needed to pass local bills. That step is called the Budget Isolation Resolution, or the BIR vote. That extra vote is in place because the Alabama Constitution requires lawmakers pass the budgets first. Political analyst Steve Flowers says that requirement is well intended as a way to make sure big budget decisions aren't happening in the 11th hour. It was known that the budget would not pass to the last night at midnight. And, it, you know, it's gone to a conference committee. And so nobody knows what's in it. I mean, you may be, your county may be getting hosed. But in practice, the budgets get passed late in the session. The BIR exemption lets lawmakers bypass that requirement with a three-fifths vote. Those with the Association of County Commissions of Alabama say the extra vote can bog down the process for local bills. Local legislation is designed to, to deal with a problem in a particular county that's different from the problems in neighboring counties. And we think legislators ought to be able to bring those bills at any time and not be restricted uh, by this budget isolation vote. There's also the issue of if the BIR vote is even legal for local bills. House Minority Leader Anthony Daniels says this amendment could clear that up. Because there have been some questions about whether or not what we've been doing is actually um, legal uh, or, or sufficient uh, enough to continue. And so I think that this provides the clarity needed. Now this amendment will appear on the ballot because lawmakers last session overwhelmingly voted to put it up to a vote of the people. The Senate passed it unanimously and the House passed it 101 to 2. Reporting in Montgomery, Maddie Beer Temple, News 19.